Yes guys, I'm back with another video. In this one, I'm going to try and get the lowest possible moon orbit. As you can see, we are starting in a pretty high moon orbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decelerate to get our periapsis pretty close to the moon. I'm not going to go too close yet. Just because I want to have some uh, room for error still. Um, and I'm already going to decouple this stage because we have more than enough... Um, Delta V in only this stage. And also it has a bit of a smaller engine. Which is nice because you can make smaller changes. Which is definitely needed for a low moon orbit. And not just a low moon orbit but the lowest possible moon orbit. So I'm going to accelerate at my periapsis or right about at my periapsis. And I forgot to turn this engine on. So, as you can see, we now have a low moon orbit, but of course, this is not low enough for the lowest moon orbit. So, I'm going to go to my periapsis again. I'm also going to clear the breeze real, real quick. So, that's not in our way anymore. Then, I'm going to get this to right about one kilometer in height. I'm going to do that by using very low throttle, of course, because I don't want to overshoot. Oh, also guys, I can't make any quick saves because um, there's something wrong with, with my uh, SFS. And if you don't know what really happened yet, please watch the video which is going to be in the right, upper right corner of your screen right now. I explain everything there uh, and I also don't have any blueprints. So that happened. But anyways, let's continue with the video. So we are now at one kilometer in height. Which is of course pretty low already. And as you can see we now cannot time warp any war anymore. <laughs> any war. Uh, because we are below 5 kilometers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to another rocket. And I'm going to click on this one to see its orbit. And I'm just going to time warp from this uh, other rocket. Which actually is a rover. And then from right here, I'm going to switch to this one. As you can see, I overshot my periapsis a little bit. Oh, we are also moving at uh, 350 meters per second, which is pretty fast for a moon orbit, of course. And I'm going to slow down more to get my epoapsis a bit lower as well. And we have to pay attention that this line doesn't go away, because sometimes... It says it's still at, for example, 100, but there is a little uh, mountain on the moon and it still hits the ground. Which is sometimes really annoying when you're trying this. And as I said, I can't use quick save, so <laughs> if I explode, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing over again. And of course, that would be really painful. Uh, so as you can see, we now have this one to 380. And as you can see here, we, here we are already pretty close to the moon. But still not close enough, because it's not, well, low enough to be the lowest moon orbit yet. So I'm going to go to this uh, other rover again, and time warp from here. I'm going to switch to this one. And that's going to be right now. And I'm going to have it pointing a bit upwards, to not get this periapsis too low. As you can see, it's now at 200, and for so far I can see it's not hitting any uh, small mountains on the moon yet, so that's great. And this one is at 500 right now, so we are already very, very low, as you can see here as well. And as you can see, we are also moving really fast to the surface of the moon. So now I'm going to time up again. And this is gonna be a process of just a whole lot of small changes. Oh, I accidentally switched to. Um, because if you make bigger changes, then uh, if, if you want to change your uh, periapsis, most of the time your epoapsis change a little bit too. Uh, or the different way around. And then it can happen that it crashes into the moon. Turn it around. 
and let's start decelerating again. Wow, they are really glitching out right now, my Periapsis and Epoepsis. And I believe I accelerated just a little bit too much, maybe not. I'm going to have to check this because I don't want to hit anything. Okay, I'm going to accelerate just a little bit. Because I really don't want to hit anything without having quick saves. Just like so. But of course 9.55 is still way too much. So I'm going to time warp again. As I said guys, it's going to be a really slow process. Especially because I don't have quick saves and I don't want to um, mess stuff up. So right now I'm going to decelerate again. So right now I am very low already, but I'm going to try and set a world record here, so I have to go lower. Oh and by the way, the lowest I found um, on YouTube from a guy who had the lowest orbit was uh, 311 meters periapsis and also 311 um, apoapsis, which was a perfect circular orbit which is quite impressive. And that's the only guy I could found which had a full orbit. Other people showed parts of an orbit, like for example, um, just how low they got, and one guy even got to only 3.6 meters in height. But I don't know their epoapsis, so I can't really count that as a record. If you have actually found people who have gone lower than that, then please let me know in the comments. Um, but right now, I'm going to try and set the world record from what I know from YouTube. So again, if you don't think um, that the world record is 311, um, then please let me know in the comments and uh, also maybe put a link to the guy who you think, or the girl of course, who you think that actually uh, got the lowest orbit. And I'm now just checking if I want to crash into stuff. And as you can see, I am pretty low already. Um, but I'm going to still try and go lower. Because again, world record. So I'm going to time up again to my periapsis. <laughs> I actually believe half of the video oh, half of this video right now is just time warping to a periapsis. I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. I'm also using very low thrust because I don't want to hit stuff. So again I've got to check if everything is still not hitting the ground or anything. Which at this point is a really big uh, threat. Because sometimes you, you can't see it. And as you can see on the bottom right, my uh, height was just 25 meters right there. And I'm now just checking still if I don't crash into stuff. And actually, so 218 right now is my periapsis and my epoapsis is 264. So from what I found, this is already a, um, a YouTube world record at least. I don't know from Reddit or stuff like that. But at least from YouTube this is a world record. 
and I'm going to try and still go lower and as you can see this is how low I am already so going lower is going to be hard but I'm going to try it for you guys so I'm going to time warp to my periapsis again I'm really getting scared now that I am going to crash into things and don't have my quick saves otherwise I would have quick saved like 10 times so far already just to make sure you know because you can never know for sure if you will hit stuff <laughs> I just love how much the things are glitching the periapsis and epilepsis and let's see will, will I crash into things I believe I won't oh yes I will or will I not no I won't I think <laughs> this is so scary guys I think I'm going to stop here because otherwise I'm going to overdo it and I will just fail completely. So I'm just going to show how low I really am. And as you can see it's saying 0.6 but it's, uh, it's a bit more. Oh wait, I'm stupid. 0.6 is of course the downwards acceleration but I don't think I really have that much downwards acceleration. Oh my god, that was a really low point. Wow. I will put on. Uh, I, I will have to see this in the replay, and I will put on screen how low that really was. I believe that was under 10 meters at least. So I'm going to stop here and call it a world record. And again, if you think it's not, then please tell it in the comments and leave a link to the video. And also, if you would like to, please leave your own record, how low you have gotten. And uh, then I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to my channel for similar content. And then I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you and bye bye.